and we're uh, milking 120 cows uh, with robotic milkers and rotationally grazing. Uh, we had applied for a SARE grant to uh, look further into the grazing uh, part of farming and we were interested in rotational grazing and, and how we could use that to uh, make more money uh, with our farm and how we could help others get uh, started farming without a lot of capital investment. So we had uh, applied for the grant, received it, and uh, we used that to hold pasture walks and uh, uh, do some experimental uh, grazing with different sizes of paddocks and, and fencing uh, options. So that seemed to work really well for us, and uh, we enjoyed doing it. We have uh, 28 paddocks that we rotate. The uh, cows move daily, once a day, and uh, the paddocks are 3.3 acres and uh, with different grasses, uh, mostly orchard grass, red and white clover, and some alfalfa. The uh, farther away paddocks uh, in the spring when their growth is good, we'll cut those for hay. Uh, because we can't possibly keep up with it uh, during the spring flush. So the 120 cows will, will uh, rotate uh, around the paddocks and usually we start about uh, the last week in April and we'll end by Thanksgiving. So we will supplement a little bit in April as the grass grows. And then uh, probably beginning around the middle of September, we'll, we'll start supplementing as the grass slows up its growth for winter. And uh, that's a gradual process, and uh, uh, we've learned that it works really well uh, for transitioning into the, the winter feed uh, portion of, the, of our program. Uh, in the longer term, we, we think that uh, it's helped us uh, with our management and how we manage the pastures. And, uh, and I know uh, at least two or three farmers have started grazing because of uh, what we've learned and uh, visiting our farm and uh, talking about how to manage cows on, on pasture. Put our, our uh, robotic milkers in in uh, 2010, July, or actually started January 25th, and uh, trained the cows through that winter and in spring started rotationally grazing them. Uh, and it works out really well. We uh, let them out. They have to come back to the barn to get water, and uh, they come into the barn. Uh, go through the robot and a sort gate at the end of the barn will let them back out if they've been milked and it won't let them back out if they haven't been milked. Um, it's actually uh, helped our management because we get uh, a lot of reports from the computer and from the milker that uh, you know if a cow is in heat or if she has mastitis or some other issue We'll uh, get that report as an attention on the computer, and uh, so we know that we have to go look for that cow or find out what's going on with her or breed her if she's in heat. Um, a lot of benefits to that uh, labor-wise also because we were able to uh, eliminate some of our labor and um, uh, take advantage of doing some things, uh, for instance, a birthday party, we can go to a birthday party without having to come home and uh, milk cows. We can wait and uh, do what we have to do in the barn uh, after. Uh, we can go uh, do things with the grandkids and ball games and that sort of thing. If we're doing hay, we don't have to stop doing hay to, to uh, milk cows. We can just go ahead and and uh, finish our hay up and uh, so that kind of thing 
Uh, it's really, really helped us. And I think uh, it adds to the efficiency of the operation. We spent, uh, with our 120 cows, we would spend eight hours a day just milking and doing uh, clean up. By the time we went and got the cows out of the pasture, uh, got them milked and, and cleaned up after we had uh, eight hours a day into that, twice a day. Now, we're, now our cows are getting, we're getting milk average at 2.7 times per day with about uh, 20 minutes labor uh, day and morning and night. Um, the cows really enjoy that, I think. Uh, I haven't talked to them lately, but <laughs> they, uh, you know, the cows that want to be milked get, get milk when they, pretty much when they want to. And uh, those uh, cows that need to be milked but are, are a little lazy or they're in heat or, or have another issue, then we'll go get those twice a day. Uh, we usually get three or four a day uh, that'll do that, especially the ones that are, that are in heat. They're, you know, interested in doing other things. Cows are content. You can go through the barn and, you know, you really have to be careful because uh, they might come up and try to, you know, eat your hat or something. And uh, they're, you know, you don't have to worry about them running away. You can go ahead and had them, uh, they become uh, pretty docile animals. I think the, uh, the, the robots would actually help uh, farmers or even young farmers start farming and not be so burdened with everyday routine chores like milking. Uh, you know, they, they can Get a, get a robot and then uh, uh, or two or three whatever and and get started farming uh, with those and get all their work done not having to uh, have extra labor uh, and try to manage that uh, along with learning learning everything else they need to learn.